The average performer will never get the chance to star in a Broadway show. These are the stories of a college music theater program, its teachers, and their students who are anything but average and whose chances just got a whole lot better. creative team sitting around trying to figure out what the best balance is. It's time to fly, we're time to fly! So the callbacks really have just ended at 11 o'clock, you know, so then everyone leaves and goes and like freaks out or stuffs their face or runs around the block or just goes and, you know, waits. <laughs> their face that was a horrible thing to say but I mean it's whatever they've got to do because I know what I used to do and I had nerves that's probably why I'm saying that but um... so but you know here's the other thing to think about as we're like putting together the chess match here. it takes about uh, half an hour 40 minutes to talk the whole thing through just to make sure that everything is done in the best interest of the show and the program. I mean, I knew she was talented, but I'm very, imp I'm also very impressed in how she's held up all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't see any Chink. squeamishness. Mm -hmm. So then the stage manager runs out and retypes the cast list based on the choices the director and the creative team have made, and that usually takes about 15 minutes, and then it had sort of worked out that midnight winds up being the posting time but I think it's acquired this kind of symbolic significance because it happens to be midnight. The witching hour. I'm freaking out. I can't even believe this. This is crazy. Because I, I wasn't even going to audition. I'm playing black. Which doesn't mean he has to be black, but I am. And, um, <laughs> and he is the one who swoops in and woos the girl and wins her. Well, since my freshman year, since and mine and Teresa's, um, since our freshman year, uh, President Durst and uh, Mrs. Durst, Karen, Karen, um, they uh, have invited the music theater department to come up and have dinner at their beautiful home. Um, 
as like a thank you for all we've done. And it's really nice because we get to be all together as a group and get to know the freshmen a little better. What this college is really good at is creating a discipline through college so you're ready just to go to New York. So it's like taking a step and then you're there and you're ready. That's what's amazing about this program. Like because we're doing master classes every weekend, with major industry professionals. You're gonna see them when you audition in New York and be like, hello, I remember you. I worked with you for four years and, and, and got all your advice and I'm doing it now. So that's really amazing. It's like one of the best parts about our program. Oh, don't get hit by a car! <laughs> That's what happens. Work. That's what happens when this is what happens you're a boy you're and you try to stupid. shave. But I have to grow a mustache out for wild parties, so I do this. You know, I think the, the special part of it are the connections that the faculty have in the industry. That's really what sets this apart. I think that. That's the success that the students have is because of those connections. You know, there are a lot of wonderful performers in other programs around the country, but they lack that the next step after they graduate. They lack that connection to the business that Vicki brings, that Scott Plate brings, and uh, and I I think now with the new dance faculty, that's even going to add to that. So I think that's really the difference. You let the boogie loose. two previous appointments as deans of fine arts and saw some really good programs that were typified by um, this kind of cutthroat mentality. You know, if you're cast, that means I'm not cast. And there is none of that here. They are so supportive of one another that I think it's just so remarkable. I think that starts with the faculty and it's the kind of students that they are able to bring here and the students realize that it isn't really about just who gets on stage but the kind of training they get that prepares them for that next step in their career. Tonight is a chance for the most stressful program at the college to take a break and just relax yeah. with each other. And have time. fun! It's a great before time. Rehearsal. <laughs> before rehearsal. Yeah, before we go off to rehearsal. This is, probably, this is the fattest this is the you'll see us too because a lot of us lose weight during yeah. the school year because yeah. of all the stress. And Arthur just moved the shot. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you, Arthur. That was perfect until that happened. <laughs>